So for this video, this is kind of a, a special video because it is, let's see, what is it? The 26th of December and I just got this package in the mail. And this is the rewards from the Battletech Kickstarter that was done by uh, Hairbrain Schemes. Um, as you can see right here, right there, says, probably see right there, her brain schemes. Um, so it, it came in today. It's a, it's a lot of different things. Um, the funny story is that it came in this box. So you can see this this is the box and at first I thought that it was it was just gonna be a uh, the jacket because I could did get the, the jacket but when I, I opened it up and so you can see what was in here it's like a bunch of different things so I was just like you know with with this many this much stuff I think it'd be a, a good to do a, uh, a, a video. Um, just so you know, I did, uh, I had, I think it was four different accounts. Yes, I think it was four different accounts because there were like four different uh, great houses. Because in Battletech, there are, and they're not, in there. it's not really clans because, well, We'll get to clans later, but there are factions or organizations or you know whatever whatever it is that you want to call them. In Battletech, they're called Great Houses. There were four Great Houses that I really wanted to get all the cool little rewards for, so I used four different emails, and it looks like it all came in here. All, all four houses are, are in here so this I, I, I'm very excited about this I was like you know what I don't care what happens we will be we'll do this video today for it because I can't wait to see what, what all this cool stuff is. Um, I don't know if the jacket is in here we'll find out later so just get started with this In case uh, I actually did plan this, uh, I'm wearing my uh, hairbrain scheme shirt because this is very much a hairbrain scheme video, even though it's they didn't sponsor it. But you know, it's uh, I like it. I like their their games. I like their company. Um, I like hairbrain schemes. Okay, let's just leave it at that. So with the scissors. This is the first one that we will be opening up. This is going to be, um, I'm guessing, this is the, just the general Battletech stuff. So. Open this up. First thing that I'm going to take out is the hat, because, you know, it's a hat. Um. This part is sewed on. This cannot be removed. This part is right there. It's all st uh, so, uh, stitched in. This is the inside. You can see how it's done. It is adjustable. So this this is how you adjust it. Let's see if I can fit my my big. Oh, yeah, it actually does. It does fit good probably tighter tighter but it's good so this is what it looks like so this is the hat um let's see what else then here's this and here's a uh, a patch there. 
So there's a, it's, this is an actual patch that you can actually put on. And put, put it back on. So this will be a, uh, if, I, if I remember right, this will be part, you can actually put this onto the, uh, the jacket. And I think it was like the interchangeable things on the jacket. Let's go for something small here. So this is a pin. Let's see if we can get some light on there. It's just a regular pin. Next is this. This is a keychain type thing. It has this this little uh, loop thing right here? Then you have a, a key ring right here. It does. It is does look like a key ring. Um. So for each one, on the front it'll say the uh, uh, whatever fraction it is. This one just says Battletech. Then on the back it says the uh, the slogan. So this one says Noble Bo Noble Birth, Mercenary Minds. So there's that. Next is the looks like dog tags. Well, it doesn't look like it. It is dog tags. So, and this one, so one will, will have the, uh, the slogan of whatever faction it is, the other will just have the symbol. Since this is just Battletech, this is what regular Battletech is. And then... This is a big thing. This is the, I think that this is supposed to be a, uh, a pendant. So, get up for this. Not sure how much of that you can actually see because it's kind of in front of me. There's that. And that is, looks like that's all the, I want to say the, it's not really generic, but that's the best way to, to describe it. Um, so I'm just put all this inside the hat. So this is all the the stuff for just battle tech. Next one is this one. Let's see what does it say. Davian. Is it Davian? Davian. So here's this one. They all pretty much have the the same thing. It's just different symbols. This, the different uh, logos, ex insignias, uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to call it. This is uh, Davian. Uh, look, just like I, what I did. So here is the Davian symbol. I'm sure it did, does, does it go up or down? Yes, it does go up. There's the, uh, the hat. Just like the other one. You can see. You can't see me. No. And here's the uh, the pin. The uh, dog tags. And for this one. Uh, so it's it, they will all say BattleTech on front, on the back it will be have what they're saying, and they're saying is by Freedom Sword. So there's that. 
So this one will also say by Freedom Sword right there. And then here is the flag. So it actually does say have right there it says House Davian. And then you come up. Let me see if I can see this. It has the the, the symbol. So this is House Davian. I sure sure hope I'm pronouncing that right. Next one is Mark Merrick. I call it Bartok, but there's no the the, the symbols, the, the vowels are wrong, so it's not Martok. It is Merrick. M-A-R-I-K. Merrick. Uh, if I re if I remember right, Merrick is one of the houses that they can trace back their lineage back to like I want to say the 1800s but I might be wrong and the, the battle tech takes place in the 23rd 24th 25th century so to have a a lineage that goes back to the 1800s like wow that's that's kind of cool so I, that that was that's the reason I picked them because they have such a, a long lineage. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just go ahead and wear this while we're opening this. That way you can't see my eyes. Ha ha. No, no eyes for you. Ha ha. So here's Merrick. Here is the, uh, the pin. The, uh, the thing about Merrick, though, is that in the 23rd, 23rd century, they are kind of weak. Um, there's a lot of infighting in Merrick, so you don't, they, there isn't really a big thing for making, getting the house to be big and strong. There, there's too much political infighting. And it's kind of funny I say that because it's because their uh, motto is actually "We stand united." But it's like yes, we stand united, but there's so much political infighting. What? Really? Um, so that's why I can't really. I cannot uh, say that Merrick is my favorite because there is so much. They don't do much, you know. Um, maybe in the future they'll actually do something that they actually become good, but probably not. Um, yeah, here's dog tags. And then... The how the uh oh hey look there's oh look at that something else here so the banner for House Merrick and I apologize if I'm saying that name wrong so here's House Merrick. And here is the symbol. Let's see if I can get. Uh, so you can see the how the the end. This is how a lot of them end. But since we are kind of restricted here, 
So there is one right there. Ah, there it is. So that's House Merrick. Next one is Steiner. I am a big fan of Steiner simply because uh, the Mech Warrior series did, did revolve around Steiner a lot. Um, if I remember right, Mech Warrior 4, you were fighting for Steiner. And then the expansion to 4, you're fighting against Steiner. Um, I'd be remembering that wrong, I think. And Mech Warrior 3, you're fighting against Steiner. Yes, yes, that's right. In Mech Warrior 3, you're fighting against Steiner. Because I remember playing Mech Warrior 4 and thinking, this is so odd. This is this is very odd that I'm uh, fighting for uh, my, my mortal en enemy, I guess you could say. So it, it was kind of weird, but... The, uh, the the storyline for Mech Warrior 4 was pretty cool. I liked it. Um, waiting for another Mech Warrior, maybe I don't know. But we got BattleTech, so that's that's cool. Um, it does take place in between. Uh, I want to say the six. I think they said the Second Succession War is when it. This is going to be taking place. So. Enough talking, open stuff, right? Here to open stuff, not to hear me talk. So this is Steiner. I kind of want to to say that Steiner is a, a favorite because I do have a history with Steiner. Um, but once again, political infighting. So here's that. Um... If I remember right, Steiner got into an allegiance with Davian, which is, for the most part, I will say Davian is my house of choice. Let's put it that way. When the game comes out, I probably will be playing House Davian, although House Steiner will be a very big second runner-up. Very close second, second runner-up. So, House Steiner, House Davian... Let's do it. Um, here is the pin. Open this up, maybe sometime. So here is this, Battletech, and their motto is Indomitable Will. So there is that. Oh, well, you know, you know how this, this works. So there is that, and then on the back, it's upside down and backwards. And then for the flag, Hal Steiner, so it starts off right here, and Hal Steiner. And then come up here to symbol, and then oh, hope that's a, I'm really stretching right there. So there's that. That is all House Steiner. Um. Seat. So uh, according to this, ah, the flight jacket is in here. One, two, three, four Herald G sets. So 
Uh, this must be the jackets. Definitely must be. So this is, this is the jacket, open this up, I'm excited, this is going to be cool. So this is, this is a real flight jacket. So here's the back, you know, we'll probably not seeing that again. So this is the back, this is how the back looks, here's, like that. There's the uh, the back shoulder. So I put this on. It's kind of good because it's starting to get kind of chilly. They're talking about another cold front coming through, so this came in time. So the inside. So you can see. That's what it's, it's on the inside. Um, okay, it's just stuff. This is a extra large that I got. And seems to, to, to fit pretty good. Not sure if I can scoot back anymore, but you can, maybe you can see it. Uh, I am I am uh, five feet four inches, so this is extra large, five feet four inches. Uh, I do weigh 175, 170 pounds. Um, so this is what it would look like if you're you're of that measurement. Uh, here's this part right here. I am a backer, so you can see that. Yes, I am a backer. And this this part right here is there's there's a pocket right here then on this one oh this was the the Valkyrie Legion that we unlocked through the uh, the Kickstarter then here's the Alpha Strike Operation Alpha Strike that was the the initial 12 hours that they wanted to just really pound it out for the Kickstarter and we did we succeeded in getting I think we got a million dollars within the first 12 hours I think it was um pocket right here this is very warm let me tell you I'm staying quite warm with this stuff and here is this is where you would have this thing right here so this part right here Is interchangeable so you take this and grab the other one I already took it off so you see take this and just place it right there so that now I am house diner and but you can take it off and re replace it with something else um, so yeah this is this is it um, this is pretty much for Kickstarter people, the people that actually didn't, uh, back the Kickstarter, uh, they said that they can't, as of, as of right now, the 26th of December, 2016, they cannot sell these things to the public, they are working, trying to uh, get some sort of licensing deal so that other people can get this because this is very cool stuff. I think everybody should be allowed to get this stuff because, I mean, come on, this, look at this. This is, this is pretty neat. It's pretty warm, too. Um, so, yeah, here's hoping to some licensing deal in the future, maybe. Um, Battletech comes, the, the actual game Battletech comes out 2017, I think it is. Uh, I will try to keep people updated on Battletech because I, it just, it's a very cool, it's a cool world, it's a cool universe, I love it, I think it's, it is one of my childhood uh, things along with G.I. Joe's and Transformers and Godzilla and that's, that's how far back Battletech goes for me. 
Um, so, yeah, that's... That is this unboxing of Battletech Kickstarter Rewards. So, uh, guess we'll see you some other time, huh?